Hey guys, I am back with my daughter's Easter basket now. My daughter will be 14 right after Easter. Um, so here is her basket. We're going to just jump right in. I use the same basket every year. I only replace them once. And of course, I will have to iron her basket liner too. Both her and her brothers is just really wrinkly from me washing them and then putting them away last year and not really folding them before I put them away. So I will have to iron this also. I'm also working against time right now because there is road work going on right outside of my house and I didn't realize it was going to be today. I was going to do this video a little bit later but I'm like rushing against that time. So we're going to just jump right in. Instead of Easter grass, I normally put clothes in the bottom of my kids' basket as they're like Easter grass. This year, I did buy Easter grass. If you didn't see my son's video and you're just watching this one, we did lose a job this year. And so I bought Easter grass because I didn't know if I was going to have enough for the Easter baskets. And Easter grass really makes the Easter basket look full. So I'm going to be using the Easter grass and the clothes that I got just as like double measure on here. I also start buying things way in advance. Every time I see something small, I pick it up, which normally leads to me having an excess amount of stuff for Easter. But um, this year, I'm thankful that I did because of the job loss. So in the bottom of Bella's basket, I normally put outfits for the spring and the summer. I picked up these shorts. She really likes mushrooms. She's not a huge like ladybug, girly girl fan. So I'm um, split 50-50. She's going to love these or not. When I looked them up online, I didn't see that there was ladybugs on them like that. So we'll see if she likes them or not. I think she'll wear them either way. But this is one pair of shorts that I picked up for her. I think we did the video with my son's basket kind of like this. So there goes one set of shorts. And then this is the other one and this has frogs and mushrooms she loves frogs and mushrooms so i know that this one would definitely be a hit i'm just not sure if the other ones are going to be and these are super soft by the way both of those were picked up from hot topic online with some hot topic cash that i had left over from christmas and some cells we got some good deals I picked up this shirt for her. Again, it has mushrooms on it. She won't eat mushrooms, but she likes mushrooms. Her birthday last year was like woodland theme, and we had a lot of wooden mushrooms everywhere. She had a lot of fun with that. I really bought this though because she's been asking for button-ups like this. She likes to wear an undershirt underneath and leave the button up open. So I think this one will be right up her alley too. And the last shirt is also mushrooms with frogs. And now I'm realizing this also has ladybugs on it. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But again, it's another button up for her um, so that she can wear that with an undershirt. So that fills up the bottom of the basket pretty well. And then we just kind of put stuff right on top. And then, like I said, I did buy Easter grass because I didn't know if I was going to have enough Easter stuff this time around. And we do, we definitely have enough Easter stuff this time around. But I'm still going to add the grass because I bought it and it's here. So we're going to put it right on top of the clothes, kind of like a layer so that under the grass there's even more of a surprise. I just picked up my Easter grass from the dollar store. If I thought about it, I definitely would have gotten paper grass because this plastic stuff, it sticks to everything. It's like statically charged. It gets everywhere. So I definitely would have picked up the paper one if I thought about it. But um, either way, we're gonna work with this. I picked up one of these mini verses for her. She likes to put them together and then kind of put them on display in her room. I think she's starting to phase out. That's why I only picked up one. Plus these are big. Look how big that is. It's gonna be huge in her basket. Uh, so yeah, I picked up one of the drink mini verses. I tried to put that down between the clothing because it's just so big and round. Her father picked up one of these light brights for her. He also picked up one for Logan. He really loved the idea of having these. So we have that in here. And obviously we will have to move things around as we put things in the basket. Just kind of see where things fit. He also picked up one of these Nerf blasters for both of the kids. So that's going to be really fun on Easter. Next thing I picked her up was this dinosaur, I don't know what these are called, claw grabbers? 
these are just one of those things that my kids play with every time they go to the store until I tell them we're not buying them. So I picked up one for each of my kids. She got the green one. Logan got the red one. I think they both are really going to enjoy those. It figures I'm trying to quickly do this video and so many distractions. So many distractions. Next thing is one of these spring mixes with some of the candy that I know my daughter likes in there. And this is pretty big, so maybe we could fit it. I don't know. I don't know why my daughter's basket looks odd compared to my son's when they got pretty much the same thing. I think it's that mini verse that's really starting to throw me off just because of how big it is. I think I got something going now. I'm not quite sure. We might have to change it up again. A small thing of Peeps is next for her basket. She really does like Peeps, and her and her brother will trade candy for sure. And I know Peeps is one of the things he is going to trade her, so she'll have even more after they trade. Next thing is a pair of these Spider-Man socks. She loves the movie. This is her favorite character, and I could not find anything with this character during Christmas. Um, I'm happy I found something now to put in here. I know that she will really love these socks. They do say that they're men's, but I don't think she's going to care about that. We're just going to leave the socks on top for right now. Um, I need more things added to the basket to kind of stuff the socks in, I think. So we're just going to leave it like that. I did pick her up a cookies and cream bunny. They get this every single year. It's tradition for them. I'm just going to place stuff on top and then we can kind of put it together in a moment. I also picked her up two packs of this film for her camera. She had a camera for a while now. Then recently she started asking for more film for it. So I picked up this one and I also picked up this one. So she'll have both of those and then some robin eggs. So let's stop really quick and put this basket a little bit more together because I think we have some good structure pieces for the basket. See, that's the hard thing about putting clothes in the basket is that this basket is deep, but the clothes do fill up the bottom of the basket. So everything has to like sit on top. There's no real walls to hold anything in. So that's a little tough when you add clothes, but I still think the clothes are worth it because either way we're buying clothes for spring or summer. So why not make it a gift? All right, that works, right? looks better everything's kind of staying in place as of right now let's move on i picked my daughter up a few different things of gum just like my son they both love gum no cavities this year thank goodness um and they do share gum in school so i know that this will definitely be brought to school and shared and they're allowed to in school my kids are definitely sharers when it comes to bringing stuff to school to share with everyone. My son also loves to share his lunch account with people. And there was multiple times this year where I had to put a freeze on his lunch account because he was buying lunch for everyone. Um, and I just could not afford lunch for his class. So my kids definitely love to share. And I know that would be something that they bring to school. Picked up some M&Ms. I feel like some of these are just Easter classics. Like... You expect to have them in an Easter basket. This little axolotl, I know it's not going to be everybody's favorite thing that I'm going to get her. I might have some pushback on this, and I totally understand. My daughter loves axolotls. She has an axolotl. When I went shopping at Hot Topic, this was on sale for like two bucks. And so I figured I was going to pick it up either way. I think my daughter is old enough to handle this plush. Um, and it is kind of cute, though. It reminds me of an alien. So here goes her little axolotl plush. Put that right in front. And then just like my son, she got a visual illusions ball. This is like a fidget toy. You just kind of spin it and it looks really cool. What color did I get her? Okay, she got the black one. So that's kind of what it looks like. They're sold on Amazon. They have really good reviews. I just thought they were a cool toy to kind of have and play with. A few packs of Skittles. I just bought a big bag of a few different candy and then I split it up. And I will also put some in their Easter eggs. I normally just put like different flavored jelly beans in their Easter eggs. But this year I will be putting jelly beans and some other candy in there.
three of these chocolate covered marshmallow eggs. Again, bought as a six pack split between both kids. Oh, this was the box that the plush came in, but it was ripped. I was originally going to save this for her birthday, but since the box was so torn up and open, I decided to just put it in her Easter basket and get rid of the box. The next thing I picked up is this fidget cube. It does have snowflakes in there. I said it in my son's video that it kind of reminds me more of like a Christmas gift than an Easter one. But I bought it and they are really fun to play with. I did open this one to kind of check it out. Um, they are really fun to play with. So I don't think my kids will mind that it has snowflakes. And they are really, really cool. So I'm going to put this in the bottom somewhere. I'm going to try to stuff it in. So maybe under here. Now I know for sure it's the miniverse. The miniverse is throwing me off. It's the one thing that my son does not have in his basket. In his basket, I felt like went a lot easier to stuff. Um, that miniverse is just so large. Anyway, I bought her another bunny. Last year, I bought both bunnies to kind of see what my kids like best and they do like both, which is fine because that bunny in the back, I said in my son's video, is really cheap. It's like a dollar or something like that from Walmart. This one's a little bit more expensive. so. I didn't mind that. She has one Kinder Joy egg, I believe. Um, I do have an extra because it came in like a three pack or something like that. So I do have an extra if I need to fill in any spaces. Oh, that'd be cool. It just kind of have it in the dinosaur's mouth. Is that going to fall out? No, it's not. I'm going to leave it in the dinosaur's mouth. I picked her up one chocolate peak. We're getting pretty... We're getting pretty full here, but that's good because we are almost done. We have a little bit more to go. Some packs of Sour Patch Kids Bunny Edition, it says. Three Twix eggs. I'm happy I only have two kids because it's an even number and a lot of things come in like packs of four or six. I think there was maybe two or three things I bought this year that came in like a pack of five. Um, it's really easy when you only have two kids to buy things and just kind of split it between them. And here goes the other bubblegum thing that I bought them. So they have three different bubblegum things in here, but that's fine. Hubba Bubba. A few Reese chocolate eggs. One Nerds Rope. Bella loves and wears her Crocs. And for her birthday, I plan on picking up another pair of Crocs. I just can't decide on what color to get. She has a black pair and they're really getting old at this point. But I don't know what other color to choose for her. So I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm thinking like a like an army green, that kind of color. I feel like that would go with anything she wears. Also, I don't know, white, but white gets dirty really easily. I know she doesn't like like the pinks or the purples. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what the color to get her for her birthday. But either way, she wears her Crocs everywhere. And so I picked up these Technoblade Croc charms. Technoblade was a YouTuber who passed away a few years ago and his family still sells his merch so we try to support it as much as we can and she doesn't have these so I picked these up for her Easter basket. Oh man I feel like we're filling her Easter basket off to the side. This would have been the middle right here and I made this the middle. I don't think she'll notice or care but I would do that. I would do that. I picked up two Cadbury eggs for her. One Arnold's Thinkin' Putty. This is the peel the real one, so it's kind of like a surprise what you get. This I was taking a chance on. I don't know, she used to like putty and slime when that was like a huge thing. I don't know if she does anymore. I know my son definitely does. I bought him one of these too. All the road workers are coming now. Sorry, I had to leave some things for my phone because my phone's getting full. Bad timing. Anyway, I took a chance on this. I don't know if it's going to be like one of her favorites in her basket, but that's okay. Next thing I picked her up was some earrings from How's Moving Castle. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that beeping. I feel like it's extremely loud. Um, 
yeah, anyway, some earrings from there. And then I picked her up some pins. She likes pins. She had them on her backpack all year until I cleaned her backpack and then she took them off. But I think she'll still like these ones. This one says, forget lab safety. I want superpowers. So I picked her up that one. And then I picked her up this cowboy cat one. Just like my son, they got a few of these little chocolate Hershey bunnies. I bought them as like fill-ins for any place that was like had an opening, a little crack, a little space, something. Bella asked for these chicks for her Easter basket specifically. She said, if there's one thing I really, really want in my Easter basket, it's these chicks. It was when we were at Michael's we seen them. And then I did not buy them there because she was with me and I want them to be surprised. So I bought them off of Amazon. It was a terrible idea. They have great reviews on Amazon. But this is like the way that they came. I did take a few off, but like they look terrible. There was no way. I tried to take a few off and like fluff them up. It doesn't look good. So I'm going to scrap these ones. I might give them to her like after Easter and be like, these just didn't work out. Do you want to do something with them? She probably will. But I did eventually go back to Michael's and actually pick up the ones that they had left because I was definitely late to that party. So they had the small blue ones left. And then they had the bigger pink and the bigger yellow ones. So that's what I picked up for her. I am going to open them and put them in the basket though. And I might not use all of them because her basket is pretty much full. Yeah, these look way better than the ones from Amazon. I think the ones from Amazon just got like thrown around a lot in shipping and all. And that's why they didn't make it out. I did buy this for her basket, but obviously it's not going to fit in her basket. I don't think I could fit anything else in here besides the other thing I need to put in here. Um... They're just these earring cuffs from a movie that she likes. She wanted to try out earring cuffs. She brought it up to me that she wanted to try them out. Um, so I seen these. Again, they were discounted on Hot Topic, so I picked them up. But they're not... I don't think there's any place in here we can actually fit them. And they are kind of delicate, to be honest with you guys. I did have to super glue these back together because I dropped it from, like, this height, like, a height like this. And one of them came off, so I did have to hot glue them already. But, um, so I don't think I want to, like, stuff them in here anywhere. I don't think that's going to, I don't think that's going to work out well for these earrings. Maybe, maybe, like, right there. Okay, you know what, right there. Right there works. Okay, we could keep them for Easter. The last thing I picked her up is the same thing I picked up my son. was just a few gift cards since spring break is coming up. My kids, this is the week before Easter. My kids are still in school for almost the whole entire week, okay? They get like two days off for spring break. But then summer's coming up. So anyway, I picked up some gift cards so that they can like go do things this spring break. And a little bit this summer. I know it's not going to last all spring or summer. But it's just something to do. Especially right now when we just, we don't have the extra money in our budget to be doing random things. I'm happy I picked these things up before. And I know some of these things will have to be supplemented with cash. I'm fully aware of that. Like this one, I picked up a $10 uh, Chick-fil-A gift card. I think a meal is like $12 last time we went. So this will not cover like anything. So I know this one will definitely have to be supplemented with some actual cash. But $15 Starbucks gift card. My kids don't drink coffee. They get like the other weird drinks from there. I know that that will be enough for like a drink or two. So that won't have to be supplemented. A AMC gift card obviously will have to be supplemented for whoever goes with her to the movies. I think that will cover her though, just not anybody else who goes. Funny thing is, is my kids were asking to see a movie last weekend, but we obviously did not go. So I know they'll be excited to see that. And a $15 DQ gift card, that will definitely cover something at DQ. So that is it guys that is what i picked up my daughter for easter this year it is way more than what's needed i am fully aware of that that this is a whole lot a lot of extra um but i know that she will love it and that she will appreciate it first and foremost
So until I see you in my next video, I'm going to go hide this until Easter because there's no way I'm taking this apart and doing it again. Um, I hope that you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. I will see you later. Bye, guys.